Hello, McCosity Rocks. A career that's lasted 30 years that I didn't even think that would last three, three years, let alone anything else. It's just grown and grown and grown. One thing comes along, something else happens, you have little breaks and you just enjoy the breaks, then you know that with a character like this, you are going to go back and you are going to do it again because you can't put a good Wookiee down and has been brought up on the original uh, Star Wars movies by their parents who are now older and wiser and therefore they are bringing their children up to be part of the uh, Star Wars saga. You know, it depends on how far you want to go, whether it's religious or politics or whatever it is. Everybody has their own idea of what the, what the Star Wars fan is, but the, most of the time it's a general feeling of Star Wars is there. There ain't no, there's no Star Trek, no, you know, Star Wars is the only thing that there is. It was, yes, I want to do it, and hopefully I can do it. I didn't know where or when or whatever we were going to do, because there was other medical problems going on, and we were in sort of a, almost a limbo effect. So I wasn't certain what, how far I could do and what I could do, where I could do it. Um, but I knew that I was going to give it a really good crack at the whip. I think it will appeal to all audiences. As when um, episode one, two and three were designed for the younger kids and the toy merchants, the toys and the ones, sorts of things. But this will, in, this will enclose the whole thing. There was, there was a good relationship between all of them. Um, obviously certain people had other, had um, different, uh, you know, certain actors Wanted, wanted to do this that way, that that way, but eventually by the time JJ had sorted them out, uh, things were ready to be, to be done. The Force will always be with you.